We all know how important it is for us to sleep well through the night. But isn't there also a little dilemma sometimes when you go to sleep? We have a lot of work to do and we want to be certain that the next day we wake up when the alarm clock rings. So we want to sleep and recover, but at the same time also, we want to retain an alertness versus the environment. So how does sleep reconcile these two needs? The need for continuity, for recovery, and the need for fragility. How these two needs are reconciled has not yet been studied in sleep and it's not understood how sleep is capable of serving these two needs. In our lab, we have determined for the first time that sleep can be both continuous and fragile. We found that this is done on a time scale of 50 seconds, almost a minute. Within these 50 seconds, half is spent in a continuous sleep and half is spent in a fragile sleep. This 50 second period is determined by specific brain reasons that oscillate together with the heart. Importantly, this is valid for both rodent and human. This person is sleeping. However, his brain oscillates between fragility and continuity. All this information is contained within the electrical signals generated by the sleeping brain. Here the cat jumps onto the bed during the period of continuity. The person remains asleep. Here, in contrast, the cat jumps onto the bed while the person is in fragile sleep. Consequently, the person wakes up. As this research has shown, our sleep varies from one moment to the next. And there are certain moments that are sounder than other moments. With our findings, we hope to understand better what makes our sleep fragile and how we could cure fragile sleep in patients with sleep disorders. Also, we think that it will help understand how bad sleep can affect our heart and how cardiovascular diseases can lead to perturbed sleep.